we've got another one. Another former bank executive comes out and says there's a new housing bubble that was fueled by the Fed and the Fed's policies. Hey everybody, you're watching Bull, Boom, Bear, Bust. Before we get started here in today's episode, it's a very important update. Please make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit that notification bell so you get any new updates because a lot of big information is going to be coming out here uh, in the next few months as it's been pouring out now for many, many months. Uh, but here's another big one. We're also going to talk about the uh, plan to eliminate small banks. And we're going to get more into that here after this first story. But first of all, former CEO of Washington Mutual blaming the Fed. Now, this is another person in a long line of people blowing the or actually sounding the alarm on the housing bubble and home prices. If you go back to many of our reports here, there's been a lot of people coming out and uh, sounding the alarm on this. And we've shown you the charts here on how elevated the home prices are compared to the previous housing bubble. Now, the previous housing bubble, everybody looks back and agrees that that was a housing bubble, but we have a lot of denial now. And many people just don't see the similarities because all they're looking at is subprime. What about all the other uh, ways that the housing market has been pumped up? What about the record low mortgage rates? What about the elimination of the reserve requirements for the bank? What about the multi-trillion dollar uh, repo operation to keep the banks functional while there were still reserve requirements for these banks? Why the foreclosure moratorium? Oh, that's right. It's all because of the great sickness. That's what many people believe. Uh, many people believe there were no problems before the great sickness. Right? You see how they can use these situations to kind of mask what's really going on. Now, we're going to go over to a clip here. This is out of KIRO Radio, and it's posted here out of MyNorthwest.com. This is an interview with this former Washington Mutual Bank CEO. His name is Kerry Killinger, but I want you to really listen to a couple things on what he's saying here. The first one is regarding the current asset prices and the bubbles. And then he releases a huge bombshell about how a lot of these uh, lawmakers were looking to target smaller banks and maybe even eliminate smaller banks. First, let's take a look at, well, take a listen to what he says here on the current asset prices. Okay, former WAMU CEO. We call it intrinsic value. And sometimes current prices are way below that intrinsic value. Sometimes they're way above it. It happens to be today, many, many assets are above what we think is a reasonable intrinsic value. And that always indicates kind of flashing lights for some risk. This is perhaps the riskiest period I've seen in my lifetime in terms of so many asset prices rising to record levels, speculative activity coming in with a frenzy, and, uh, and the system being so leveraged with the federal government at, at record amounts of debt, corporations record amount of debt, uh, consumers in many areas at uh, record levels of debt. When, whenever that happens, that's just saying that's a high stake risk. And uh, I think the risk reward ratios of plunging into some of these is not very good right now. Okay, so you heard that uh, record levels of debt, not anything new as far as anyone here on this channel, but it is interesting when these former CEOs come out and they are also sounding the alarm. All right, if you want to listen to this whole interview, just search for Washington Mutual CEO interview and sort by date most recent. You'll see it come up. It was just here recently. But now let's get into the bigger part of this interview, which I just caught by mistake. Uh, basically, he's accusing a uh, former Secretary of Treasury, Henry Paulson, he's accusing him of targeting small banks. And take a listen to what he said in this interview. This was back during the financial crisis is what he's speaking about. Now, first of all, he says that Washington Mutual was improperly acquired by the government during the bailout and the crisis in 2008. But take a listen to what he says about uh, Paulson's goals as far as the banks. Very aggressive and trying to... Uh work and some would say manipulate the regulators into helping them out. And then we got caught in the second part where Treasury Secretary uh, Paulson said 
policy-wise, he wanted to eliminate community banks and thrifts to the benefit of Wall Street. Harry uh, Paulson said, policy-wise, he wanted to eliminate community banks and thrifts to the benefit of Wall Street. And then we got caught in the set where Treasury Secretary uh, Paulson said, policy-wise, he wanted to eliminate community banks and thrifts to the benefit of Wall Street, where Treasury Secretary uh, Paulson said, policy-wise, he wanted to eliminate community banks and thrifts to the benefit of Wall Street. Okay, so I had to play that a few times because to me, that's very, very uh, revealing uh, what he's saying. Now, this is just him saying that. I'm not saying that this is uh, something that really happened, but do your own due diligence and uh, how much trust you have in a former bank CEO. Uh, from what I've noticed, though, a lot of times when these uh, bankers and CEOs uh, and executives get out of their positions, then they're a little bit more truth telling uh, in the later years, you know, after they get out of their positions. Uh, but the plan to eliminate small community banks, credit unions in favor of the big Wall Street mega banks. Right. And it doesn't mean that it was a big plan. It could have just been uh, Paulson's personal um, goal or maybe the CEO is just making it up. Right. This is just somebody talking. Um, he is a former CEO, so we do pay a little bit of attention to people that have been in the industry. Uh, doesn't mean that it's really 100% uh, correct, but do your own maybe fact-checking and just common sense and, and ask yourself, you know, is that something that some very high-level people in the banking system would have an interest in, you know, making more money for Wall Street? To me, it doesn't seem too far out of the uh, the stretch of the imagination, that's for sure. Right now, staying on the topic of a housing bubble, let's take a look at some recent home price data here. California home prices for the first time ever shoot past eight hundred thousand uh, dollars. Nationally, the home prices now have reached three hundred nineteen thousand. That's a climb of sixteen percent in the median home price. And let's get more local here to my neck of the woods here, San Diego. Uh, San Diego median home price surges twenty five thousand dollars in one month just one month and the median home price now in san diego county eight hundred twenty five thousand dollars right and it's not just the coastal cities it's not just select cities home prices are soaring in 99 percent of america's cities right so you're living in trash fill and a crime infested area and you're still paying higher prices for homes it's absolutely insane it's absolutely ridiculous uh, heed the warnings of the CEOs. Be very cautious on your investments. Uh, just my opinion. Uh, but nobody knows how long the um, money printers can keep this propped up. Right, We're already seeing parabolic moves in the money printing. Uh, nobody knows, but prepare yourself accordingly. And we've laid it out here many times, right? Ride the bull, prepare for the bear. Um, hope everybody is doing well at this time. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the plan or the uh, comment that uh, former Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson said he wanted to get rid of community banks and smaller banks in favor of big Wall Street banks. Uh, what do you think about the former CEO of WAMU coming out, uh, sounding the alarm on asset prices in the housing market? And what do you think about these home prices? Can the Fed just keep buying mortgage-backed securities in unlimited amounts? Or is there a limit to what they can do as the money printers, the buyers of last resort? Uh, you let me know. Thanks for watching this report, everybody. Stay well, stay safe, keep stacking, stay prepared. Bye for now. Peace.